Okay, I've gone ahead and I've put this little unit together. Um, the last thing that I want to do, which I haven't done because I don't have electrical tape with me, is to wrap one line of tape all the way around so that the film canisters are actually taped onto the cardboard and that'll prevent them from moving relative to the cardboard. I take that little unit and I'm going to drop it into this secondary larger box that we've created. Uh, I can see here, if I open up my little shutter, that that's the side that the pinhole is going to be on. So I take the side that the pinhole is sticking out on and place it in the correct orientation so that when I open up the shutter, there's my little pinhole. I'm going to cover that for now. Okay, similarly, we can see that the, um, the little nubs on the top of these reels are pointing towards the back, towards me, as I have the camera in this orientation. So that way, when I close the lid, these holes fit down exactly over those spools of film. Finally, I'm going to really tape the heck out of this seam just to make sure that no extra light can get in there. And now I'm ready to, with the camera pointed away from me, um, I will stick a chopstick in the nub on the left and turn it clockwise two or three full revolutions. And that's going to tell me that now brand new ex non-exposed film is inside this light tight chamber. I know how many revolutions I've turned because I can watch the reel on the right and it should be following as I turn the reel on the left. If it's not, it means that your film isn't taped properly to the other spool and you need to get back in there and fix that. So I have some brand new film in there that has not yet been exposed. I go out, maybe I pick a sunny day, and then I pick my exposure range. For me, it was about two to 10 seconds, but if you have a really tiny pinhole that might get more like 20 seconds or 30 seconds, you're just gonna have to experiment. When I find a stable place to take a picture, I set this guy up on the ground. I expose it and I count 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, etc. Close the thing up and then I write down in my notebook the exposure. So it's picture number one, exposure is blah. Okay, and then in the exact same scene without moving the camera, I expose it again for a slightly longer amount of time, write down my notes and so forth. If you have a 24 exposure reel, you'll probably get maybe 15 or 20 pictures out of it because we're not turning it super efficiently. So between each photograph you take, you want to make one full rotation on the temporary spool, that's the one on the left, clockwise. That'll advance the film enough so that your images won't be overlapping, although that's something you could experiment with later. But for right now, we're just trying to figure out how these cameras work. You should be able to get these exposures done in the course of like half an hour or something, and then you just rewind your film all the way back into its original case, and then take that thing out to uh, CVS and get it exposed.